I'm Dr. Dave Janda. Welcome back to the Operation Freedom Health and Wellness Series with one of the top, if not the top, naturopathic physician in our country and the world, Dr. Peter Glidden. Peter and I have been doing this series of shows focused on the empowerment of your health and wellness for the past three years. The purpose is to provide you information you will never get through the bought off lame stream fake media. And how am I so comfortable in saying that? Because all you have to do is watch five minutes of the bought off lame stream fake media and you will probably experience seeing three ads, each a minute long in that five minute time period by one of their biggest beneficiaries, that being Big Pharma. And if you don't see an ad from Big Pharma, you'll see an ad from, oh, Big Insurance. Oh yeah. So the information we provide is to empower you and to utilize the healing capabilities and the wellness capabilities of your God-given body. Oh, that's something big medicine like the AMA doesn't want you to know about either. <laughs> but that doesn't mean we stop doing what we do because Dr. Glidden and I are not beholden to big pharma or big medicine or big insurance or big government. We are beholden to the truth, to facts, to data, to science, and to your health and wellness. Today, Dr. Glidden and I are going to tackle an issue of, um, you hear about omega, the omega fatty acids, uh, uh, omega-3, uh, omega-6. Well, when you scour the information out there, there's a tremendous amount of misinformation, disinformation, and frankly, fraudulent information, <laughs> right? When it comes to the issue of the omegas. And Pete is not only a phenomenal naturopathic physician on the front line of healthcare delivery, he's a phenomenal researcher, he's a phenomenal author. And he's a phenomenal teacher. His books that he has written, uh, Everybody's Sick and I Know Why, and Attempt to Cure with Holistic Medicine, are fantastic wealths of information for you to utilize for your well-being. He has a website, drglidden.com. Tremendous amount of information. We have our website, operationfreedomhealth.com. It is my honor to welcome back to our platform, Dr. Peter Glidden. Pete, welcome back to the Operation Freedom Health and Wellness Series. Happy day after Election Day, Dave. <laughs> Yahoo. <laughs> Democracy on the rise. Woohoo! Yeah. With your voting machines at the forefront of everything, isn't it just wonderful and marvelous? So marvelous. A lot of frustration there, Pete. Yeah. A lot, lot, lot of frustration over what happened and how things happened and um, uh, a multitude of issues that, that we could, we could uh, <laughs> dissect about um, what actually happened. Um, my concern, Pete, is that the people, and by the way, 98% of incumbents 98% one re-election. 98%. And my concern, Pete, is these 98% of people who won re-election re -election, are people that essentially threw every person under the bus, driven by Big Pharma, and the bus being the globalist cult bus <laughs> yeah. have thrown every American under the bus for the past three years. And, and one of the things, I guess, from a visual standpoint that you and I do with this series is um, we recognize that somebody has been thrown in front of the bus, that being our listeners, and we pull them out of harm's way by providing this information. And one of the issues out there that clouds the um, 
the, the clouds the health and wellness of people is misinformation and disinformation. And as I mentioned in your introduction, uh, this whole, the entire issue of omega-3s and omega-6s, it's one of the issues that has been mis misrepresented to the listening public and I think actually harmed them. Educate our listeners, Pete, on, on the facts and the fictions of the, the balance of omega-3s and omega-6s and what they are and the critical important issues that our, our listeners need to know about. Okay, so number one, these essential fatty acids are essential, <laughs> which means the body needs them, the body can't make them. <clears throat> number two, they're called omega-3 or omega-6 because in chemical terminology, organic chemical terminology, the architecture of a molecule of anything will give it its name. Mm -hmm. So it's called omega-3, because there are three double bonds in the molecule. It's called omega-6 because the final part, the final double bond in the molecule is six spaces away from something else. It's biochemical, scientific, laboratory jargon. Mm -hmm. That's how they got their names, because of their biochemical structure, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Omega-3, omega-6. Now, these are both essential nutrients. Your body needs them. The body can't work without them, but they have very different roles. Mm -hmm. And it's important that we understand these roles. <clears throat> Omega-6 essential fatty acids are important for generating tissue. This is why children, I mean, if a chicken egg like, is mostly omega-6. Because the chicken, the only reason that the chicken egg is an egg is to grow the chicken. Mm -hmm. And so it's loaded with omega-6 because that's what the chicken's body needs. One of the essential nutrients a chicken's body needs or anybody's body needs in any egg to grow. Omega-6 is essential for tissue production. And therefore, <clears throat> after 21 years of age, more or less, when the body stops growing, the human body stops growing, Omega-6 essential fatty acids are less necessary than omega-3 essential fatty acids. Now, I'm going to get into omega-3 in a minute. But the standard American diet, mm -hmm. the food that most people eat most of the time, which we've already talked about, most of the foods that most people eat most of the time are, in fact, bad for them. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons that they're bad for them is because they're loaded with omega-6. <clears throat> so most people are eating foods on a regular basis which are really high in omega-6. <clears throat> now, that's great when you're a teenager. That's great when you're, you know, a, a toddler. That's great w when your body's growing. But after, once, once you're in your 20s, omega unless you're a bodybuilder, omega-6 essential fatty acids too much will create inflammation. Mm -hmm. There have been all kinds of studies that show increased risks for breast cancer, increased risks for rheumatoid arthritis in people that are consuming too much omega-6 in the form of a supplement. But nobody talks about the dietary aspects of omega-6. And by the way, animal meat, which I'm a fan of, right? There's a mm -hmm. couple of forms of animal meat that are on the 12 bad food list, but I'm, I'm a carnivore and I advocate for it. But it's high in omega-6. So if you eat meat on a regular basis, you don't need to supplement with omega-6. And if you do, in fact, supplement with omega-6, you will actually drive the inflammatory process. You will make your body more inflamed, which is not a good thing. Mm -mm. Which is why, parenthetically, when people who are unaware of our method, Mm -hmm. holistic medical nutrition, giving the body everything that it needs. When they switch from becoming a meat eater to a vegetarian, mm -hmm. a lot of their aches and pains go away because now they're just reducing by switching away from meat. They've dramatically reduced the amount of omega-6 in their diet, which dramatically reduces the amount of inflammation in the diet. And so they feel better in that regard, but then they're going to have all kinds of other problems because of the vegetarian diet. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, this is the driver here. So 
if you are older than 21 years of age, <clears throat> you do not need to supplement with omega-6 <clears throat> unless you're a vegetarian. And then the omega-6 needs would even be low, even if you were a vegetarian and an adult, because your body just doesn't have that much of a need for omega-6 when you are an adult. And it's really easy to overspin that web. And then you're caught in this inflammatory matrix, and it's hard to get on the other side of it. <clears throat> and, you know, conventional medical doctors don't know any of this. So you go to the your GP's office and they give you a pain medication, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. an anti-inflammatory mm -hmm. and then a pain medication. And then you get addicted to the pain medication and then they stop giving you the pain medication. And then you become addicted to fentanyl because it's, you need it. Mm -hmm. you, you can't manage your life without it because it's a biochemical addiction. And your, your doctor's, you know, thrown you out with the garbage and now you're on your own and it's nuts. Mm -hmm. But all you had to do in the first place was alter what you were eating. Well, more's the pity because people don't know this. Omega-3 essential fatty acids, on the other hand, everybody needs omega-3s all of the time. Even in the developing years, you need omega-3. Omega-3 essential fatty acids are necessary for uh, numerous biochemical reactions in the body. They're related to hormone production. Mm -hmm. They're related to cell wall integrity. <clears throat> which is a really interesting thing to talk about. Um, I was at a seminar a couple of months ago, and you know all of the pretty pictures of the cells that we were taught in medical school and even in just high school biology? Mm -hmm. You know, we've got the nucleus and the mitochondria and the Golgi apparatus and the endoplasmic reticulum and all of this other stuff in the cell. Well, mm -hmm. as it turns out, the only thing that science is completely 100% absolutely positively sure of mm -hmm is that there's a nucleus and a mitochondria and a cell wall. It is entirely plausible and extremely possible that all of the other things that science tells us are in a living cell are artifacts hmm. of how the cell was processed to look at under a microscope. And that's a whole nother can of worms. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it's a whole nother thing to dissect and talk about. But what we do know is that every cell has a cell wall. Mm -hmm. And guess what that cell wall is made out of? Oh, Omega-3 essential fatty acids. Mm -hmm. So in order for all of the cells of your body, and, and the cell wall is super important because, well, like a country, it's the border of the cell. Mm -hmm. And there's a border on the cell to keep things out, mm -hmm. and the cell walls have mechanisms to let things in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the body knows which to... The body knows what to do. But if the wall of the cell is weak, mm -hmm. anything it's goes. not going to, yeah, it's, it ain't going to do that. The, mm -hmm. It's laying the border, the, you know, there's no wall at the border. It's got holes, holes in the fence. Mm -hmm. You're going to get people sneaking through. Mm -hmm. It's no bueno. So if just for this reason only, mm -hmm. we're not going to talk about liver health. We're not going to talk about hormone health. We're not going to talk about lung health. Mm -hmm all of which are really important. We're not going to talk about prostaglandin production, which is really important to knock inflammation down, all of which omega-3 essential fatty acids are intimately involved with. We just forget all of that stuff mm -hmm. and just talk about the integrity of the wall of every cell in the body. Well, that's enough to get my vote. Right. Right? Yeah, so, absolutely. <clears throat> and again, remember that this is, this whole, everything that I talk about, is based upon the fundamental notion that the body has wisdom, mm -hmm. that the body has intelligence, mm -hmm. and that the body knows what to do. Body knows how to fix itself. Body wants to fix itself. Body's trying to fix itself. Body's trying to optimize its structure and function all of the time. Mm -hmm. But the body needs raw materials. <clears throat> So we don't need to figure out how to micromanage a biochemical pathway because well, if you even can figure that out, you're going to mess something else up because everything's connected. You're going to upregulate this. You're going to downregulate something someplace else because everything's connected. So we don't bother ourselves with that. We just lean peacefully on the wisdom of the body. Mm -hmm. So give the body omega-3 essential fatty acids. And, you know, that's all you have to do. Well, how many should I take? Well, I don't know because, uh, I mean, even if we did know 
what the RDA was, and we don't know what the RDA was, even though you can go online and the Food and Drug Administration will tell you what the RDA is. They don't know mm -hmm. because the research that went to formulate the RDAs is archaic and juvenile, quite mm -hmm. frankly. Mm -hmm. And the people that did that should be ashamed of themselves. But, you know, even if we did know what the RDA was, mm -hmm. well, what if you're 300 pounds? Right. What if you're 100 pounds? Right. What if you exercise six hours a day? Mm hmm what if your uh, 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 metabolic rate is high? What if it's low? What if what's what about your fat index? Mm -hmm. There's all these variables mm -hmm. that go into determining whether what you swallow is actually going to be absorbed. <clears throat> so three different people would all the same body weight could ostensibly need three completely different doses of this stuff in order to secure optimal physiological results. So our recommendation, therefore, Number one, you got to take some of it because it's essential. Number two, stick with a with a moderate dose. Like my recommendation, get one bottle of the Prohoba Omegas, which, by the way, is all omega-3. <clears throat> There's no omega-6 in it at all. No omega-6. You don't need it. You, don't, you do not need omega-6 if you're an adult. So what's the ratio? Well, the ratio is zero omega-6. <laughs> And how much omega-3 should we take? Nobody knows because everybody's different. You have to experiment. So start with one bottle. There's 90 capsules in a bottle. So take three capsules a day for 30 days. And then the next month, do two bottles. Mm -hmm. Take three capsules twice a day. Mm -hmm. The next month, do four bottles, so forth and so on, and, and see if you notice a difference. One of the most memorable things that's happened to me clinically in the last 20 years. I was working with a kid. He was a teenager um, and he had insulin dependent diabetes. Mm -hmm. And he came to me when he was like, I think, 13 or 12 or 13 or 14 years old. <clears throat> and just with medical nutrition, nothing else. Well, I don't even think I did dietary modification. We just gave him nutrients with an emphasis on omega-3 essential fats. Mm -hmm. He was able to reduce his insulin intake by 75% wow. in two weeks. In two weeks. In two weeks. Wow. And every once in a while, because mm -hmm. he stayed in touch with me, and oh, as it as it turned out, he became he went to naturopathic medical school. No, oh, cool. very cool. Because of his experience mm -hmm. with all of this, mm -hmm. but every once in a while, his his um, sugars would start to go up, and he'd need more insulin. And every single solitary time that that happened. Mm -hmm. It was because he'd forgotten or he'd stopped or he'd cut way back on his omega-3s. Wow. Because what do the omega-3s do? They make sure that the cell wall is, has integrity. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to blood sugar metabolism, mm -hmm. that's mandatory mm -hmm. because the body has a mechanism whereby it lets sugar inside the cell wall. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if your cell wall is unhealthy, that's going to be messed yeah. up. Right. So, so it was remarkable. And we didn't have to micromanage anything. We just had to say, oh, take more omega-3s. And so this is what we do. So this is our recommendation. If you have a child that's growing and the child hasn't reached 20 years of age or 21 years of age yet, um, omega-3 and omega-6, <clears throat> I don't really care what the ratio is. One to one is a good place to start because there's lots of omega-6 in the, in the diet. And then after the growing has stopped, like when you enter into your 20s, mm -hmm. you stop omega-6 completely and only supplement with omega-3. Now, in the omegas, there are <clears throat> three different subunits of fats. There's EPA, there's DHA, and there's ALA. And I've done a webinar that's available at drglidden.com, which lines these up for people, and it tells people, well... If you have this metabolic condition, you should do more EPA or you mm -hmm. should do more DHA or whatever. Mm -hmm. So that information is available on the website. But for our purposes here today, if you're an adult, do not supplement with omega-6. Only supplement with omega-3. And, you know, my favorite right now is the Prohoba Omegas that are available at OperationFreedomHealth.com. And they are a component of something you and I've spoken extensively about. That's the foundation pack of the 90 essential nutrients. Yeah. So this is the magic to our method. Mm -hmm. 
that we don't just give omega threes. Right. We give omega threes plus the eighty nine other nutrients that the body needs, because guess what? It's a symphony. Yeah. And the body knows how to work, but the body needs all this stuff. I mean, if you take your car in to be tuned up, they don't just put air in the tires. Right. They do a lot of things. That's right. Well, you got to give your body all the raw materials that it needs in the right ratios, in the right formulas, and then you're good to go. And so we've got you covered. So the omega-3s, which is in a, a, a formulation called Prohoba Omega, P-R-O-J-O-B-A, Omega, mm -hmm. are part of the foundation pack. Mm -hmm. So you don't need anything extracurricular. Just get the foundation pack, start taking it on a regular basis, and let the proof of the pudding be in the eating because the majority of people who take the foundation pack feel a difference without a doubt usually within 14 days and i can attest to that 100 percent. it, it uh, made an enormous difference in my life <clears throat> however it still does however if for some reason you have an uncontrollable desire to vote for a democrat <laughs> or I, a globalist I, yeah i'm not aware of anything that can help that <laughs> there you go. There's that, that's just a situation you just cannot address or, or there's, improve. There's no, there's no cure for that. No, no. Uh, <laughs> as Pete mentioned, the the products we've spoken about today are available at OperationFreedomHealth.com. Full disclosure: purchase of the products on that platform does support this platform, so we can continue our presentations. Pete also has his website, DrGlidden.com. On that site is a wealth of information. You can subscribe to Peter's site, Dr. Glidden, G-L-I-D-D-E-N.com as well. And his books, Attempt to Cure with Holistic Medicine and Everybody is Sick and I Know Why, are also <laughs> available on his website, drglidden.com. Peter, I'd like to thank you for everything you have done, are doing, and will do. I thank you for your expertise and your time and your dedication and perseverance and sacrifice uh, in providing information that, uh, well, the syndicate, the globalist syndicate does not want people to know or hear about, and I thank you for doing so. I thank you folks for joining us today. Until next time, Dave Janda signing off. Dream big and dare to fail. Thanks for your time today.